Okay, this is a uh, short tutorial uh, about how to uh, set up a debug mode flame, frame server uh, for Sony Vegas Pro 10 32-bit. Uh, the first thing that I've already done is gone to www.debugmode.com slash frame server and downloaded the latest version of frame server which I believe is uh, 2.14. So, the, um, I've already done this, and uh, the installer I've uh, saved on my desktop, and uh, we're going to start that uh, right now. First thing we're going to do is double-click on it, and we're going to answer uh, yes. Uh, we want to have this make changes on our computer. Uh, the um, next thing is you agree to the uh, EULA. And um, here are a couple of things that I found that was really the only way uh, to get uh, this working on my computer because it had several versions of um, Sony Vegas uh, Pro on it. And because we want to install this um, for Vegas 10 and uh, the 32-bit uh, version of that, the one thing we want to select is only this Sony Vegas plug-in. Uh, do not select the 64-bit um, pl plug-in. So we're going to select that. Then we're going to select Next. And, and here is, a, is another critical thing um, that... Um, well, excuse me, not, not, here, not this, the next one. Uh, here's another critical thing that um, uh, I needed to do in order to install this. If you'll notice uh, where it asks you select where to install Sony Vegas plugin, uh, it um, defaults to C colon backslash program files. Since um, I'm running Windows uh, 7 64 bit, only the 64 bit um, version uh, would be installed there. But we, since we want to uh, run the 32 bit version, uh, we need to install this in C colon program files x86. Um, uh, so the way we do that is to click on Browse, uh, click on or navigate down below My Computer, and go to um, Program Files 86, which is right here. Expand that. Click down to uh, Sony, and again, this is uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10. So we click that as our installation direct directory, click OK, and now we see um, that uh, this is in the x86 folder. We then click Next, uh, answer Yes, and uh, that is the install. Next thing we want to do is test it. So on my desktop, I have a Sony Vegas Pro 10.0. This happens to be 10.0e, but I don't see any reason why 10.0c shouldn't work as well. We're going to launch that. Um, and then we're just going to create a dummy little program here. Um, and, uh, oops, not there, but rather in the media generators, we're going to put a checkerboard down on our timeline. And uh, we're going to go to File, Render As. And if our render, or if our installation has been successful, where we see Save As Type, we'll expand that and we'll see that the very first listing is Debug Mode uh, Frame Server. So click on that and uh, click on Save. Okay, so now this is starting uh, the frame service uh, uh, serving operation. Uh, and um, uh, no, what I didn't mention before is I, I just put this as an untitled.avi on my desktop. That'll be important in just a second. Um, now, the only other thing that, 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 that is important is that, uh, and this will come, come later when we get to the AVI synth and the slow-mo and what have you like that, is you want to select YUY2 here in the video output type. So we click Next, and uh, now we're being frame-served uh, to our desktop. So, uh, the way this frame serving works is it creates a small little file, in this case it's untitled.avi on the desktop, uh, in which um, um, video bits are going in, and what we want to do is start a process where the video bits are going out. 
and uh, the uh, file itself uh, is only a very little small file. So uh, what we're going to do is double click on that in order to play it and voila there is um, our checkerboard and that'll keep playing. So uh, X out of that and when we get by here back here we can stop frame serving and quit and what have you. So uh, what we want to do in this uh, process of doing the slow-mo is uh, walk before we can run. Let's get the frame server part working, and um, assuming that works, we'll move on to the uh, AVI synth and uh, MV tools portion of it. Send me an email if uh, you have any questions.